Hey guys, so I'm back with another video for the good and the bad series for nail art. So if you didn't check out my first one, I'll link it down below in the down bar. Um, but the second one, I'm going to be going over four this time. I don't know if I did four last time or if I did a lot last time. But it was all on nail art stripers, so it was kind of focused on one thing, um, but with different brands. Where this one I have things that are, they're all nail stuff, but they're all suit a different purpose. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out what I have to show you guys. So the first thing I have to show you are these Sally Hansen Salon Effects Real Nail Polish Strips. Um, I have like a bunch of these. Um, I have like a couple others, but I don't really feel the need to show you these because I am, uh, I don't like these guys. They're like $10 each and they're not worth it to me because for me personally, I only want like one accent nail, so like I would only want one leopard nail or one like floral printed nail. I don't want all ten of my fingers, my nails, a uh, design. I like it to be mixed up. And when you open these, these dry out automatically. And I already opened this one to show you guys. So hold on. So basically, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take this off, and then you're supposed to stick it on your nail it's not sticking because it dried out so it, it's not sticky anymore so they dry out as soon as you open it um, because when I did this I opened it right away and I put it on one nail and it wasn't sticking then even so I don't know I feel like they just don't work also you're gonna see this featured in an empties video as well as a declutter vlog so um, I'll put the empties video down below and I should be filming my declutter vlog today um, maybe if I get this done in time, but um, I just don't like those products. They're ten dollars each, and they're definitely not worth it to me. Um, but I I like the concept, but it just it doesn't work basically. Okay, something that I did like were these Kiss nail dress um, things, and I got these samples actually out of like magazines. Um, but I have purchased them before. I did purchase them before. I purchased the uh, here this one because I really liked it for an accent nail and these don't dry out and they are really really good like they're better than these because they don't dry out they're better than the Sally Hansen ones um, because they don't dry out and you can only put you you can just use it on a, one finger if you want to and that's what I always do I always want one accent nail um, so they come in all these really cool designs there's like um, peacock you've got like rhinestones like going down they're more concentrated. These are like a floral design, a zebra print. This one is a cheetah print. And then this one is one that I purchased, which is um, this guy. So it's all different rhinestones or whatever you want to call it. And they're really great because they stick right onto your nail. They fit perfectly onto your nail. They're only $7 and they don't dry out. So you can use them for like multiple time, like a multiple usage. What? You can use them more than once. That's what I meant. So they have, you can use, you can keep reusing them and stuff because I think the pack comes with like 10 or 12. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, they're definitely worth the $7 and they have a lot of cute styles. Okay. So for this item that I'm about to show you, I like it, but I don't like it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what it is. It's this, um, specific brand, I guess. Um, it's the Conad stamping things. They tell you that you need the special polishes and things, and um, you don't. These polishes are, I think, $6, maybe $8, um, and they're just a thicker polish. Really, that's it, and they dry it. They dry pretty quick, but you can use any polish that I have behind me, and it works just fine. Like, Revlon works really good with it. Um, Avon, <laughs> kind of random, but I, I used that before. But I use Revlon, because I really like Revlon, so I've used Revlon, Revlon on these, and it worked fine. So I just don't like the fact that it, they tell you that you need these, when you definitely don't. Because Shady Cosmetics sells stamping plates like these ones, and they don't sell the matching, like, special polishes that you need. So that's the real reason why you don't like them, because they just say that you need these polishes, and you definitely don't. Um, 
I like the polishes that I have. I mean, I like them and I do use them, but you definitely don't need to spend the extra like eight bucks for these special polishes on each one. And I think the plates are like two, three dollars, and then the stamper set's like four dollars. So you definitely don't need to add on all those polishes if you already have polishes like I do. I love the stamping concept and everything of it. I just don't like the fact that they tell you, that Conad tells you that you need their special polishes. It's really the only thing I'm hating on right now. Um, but other than that, I love stamping. So it's kind of like a love-hate thing there. Just because like people that are new to stamping, they feel like they need to buy all of the polishes. And you definitely don't. You just need the stamping um, plates and just some nail polish from wherever. Like L'Oreal really works really good with those because it is thicker and it dries pretty quick or something like Revlon Top Speed works really really good as well so yeah okay last thing and it's something that I really did like um, and I really love these products a lot so if you're interested in actually seeing more on this stuff and um, sorry I was reading a text um, and yeah if you're interested in seeing a video on more of the gel stuff that I'm about to talk about, definitely let me know in the comments because I really love gel nails. Um, but they come with these, they have little nail art box sets that you can get that are $30 each. Um, and they can, they contain three nail polishes. I'm not, these aren't like the ones that for sure come in the box, in one of the box sets. I just picked three of the ones that I have. Because these guys retail for $10 each, so basically you're just paying for $3, or for $3, for three nail polishes. And then all the other stuff is basically little goodies that you get in the bag, which I think is really, really cool because you're getting a great deal. So some of the things that they have in them, and they all have these rhinestone, I think. Actually, I could be wrong. But they have these little wheels of rhinestones. They're all the same size, um, but the only thing is that one of them was different. I got, like, all three of the box sets, and then I ended up getting, like, some more box sets so I'll have to look up which box sets I have this one's like an opalescent rhinestone and the other two are the silver ones so I have those and then also it comes with like little pots of glitter so this one is like all gold glitter and then this one has like iridescent glitter with fine glitter and then there is one set that comes with um super fine glitter here it is this one's like the super fine black glitter that comes in these sets, which I think is really cool. Um, one of the sets came with, or both maybe, uh, came with this little, they're little nail stickers. I don't know if you can see, they're just little nail stickers. And this is a cuticle push, or um, not a cuticle pusher, this is a rhinestone picker upper thing, this little pink thing. And this has like a cuticle pusher type of end on it. On it. Um, they also came with brushes. And one of them came with a dotting tool, which I think is really helpful. Um, but it's not a super big dot. It's just a very, very small, minuscule dot. But, um, here, I think I have the pamphlets. Hold on. Also, it came with these little, one of them came with these little flower stickers. Um, and then I have the pamphlets here. I got the, the one that does... tips and tricks, the one that does the fade effect and the splatter effect, um, which this this one came with a sponge and a black striper, which is what I showed you in a previous video, the previous good and the bad nail art series. I'll have it linked down below. And then also, um, this one's gems and jewels, all that glitters in gold and all gemmed up. So that one came with the gold polishes and silver polishes, I think, and... No, this one came with the gold polishes and gold glitter and things of that. And then this one is the Gems and Jewel. This one came with um, silver polishes, a pink polish, I believe, and then like some glitters and rhinestones. But I'll have the exact ones linked down below because I know you can get them at Ulta. By the way, I don't think I mentioned the name. Um, it's Red Carpet Manicure, which I really like. I have the whole set in this box. Um, I've got like the light and I have a bunch of the polishes down on my very lower, my very lowest shelf I guess um, so I can do an entire separate video maybe a tutorial or something if you're interested in seeing that but that's everything in my good and the bad nail art series episode 2 if you like these videos give this a thumbs up so I can continue to keep doing them um, I'm going to be doing a blog post on them so you'll see swatches of the uh, nail polishes and um, 
techniques with like the gel ones and the stamping so I'll have all of that in the down bar for you guys to check out so you can get a better idea of what the products are and I'll go in a little bit more in depth of what I do and don't like about um, the products that I showed you so I hope you guys enjoy this please subscribe um, and yeah I'll talk to you guys later bye